When you break your femur, the first thing that the, the current procedure is what they do is they insert this rod into the, into the bone to align the fracture point. And then once this rod is in there, they fix the rod to the bone using screws at the top and the bottom. But then to find these holes, right, there's holes in the, in the rod, but once you put it into the bone, you can't see them anymore. So the current procedure is for the top screws, um, since it's so close to the top, they have this alignment device that attaches to the top and then it'll just align it perfectly at the top holes. But since the bottom screws, screw holes are a lot farther from the top, what they currently do is a surgeon will take a drill and they'll kind of align it manually using x-rays. And there's a big problem with this right now because since uh, x-rays are two-dimensional and you know we're working with a three-dimensional problem, they have trouble really aligning it and they can t it can take up to 45 minutes just to align these two screw holes. So we're Drill Team 6 and basically we made a device that instead of using x-rays uses a magnetic sensing system. So basically we put a magnet at the distal hole location or at the, the holes at the end and then we have this brace with a magnetic sensor in it that streamlines this process to find this magnet in a way that doesn't use x-rays and is very simple and consistent. So in a surgery, you would, you would have this brace um, on the outside of the patient's leg and you would take the intermedullary rod that fixates the bone and you would insert it. This is a, a model that we made to make it a little easier to understand and to visually see the holes. So basically, the brace goes on the outside. These rings fit around the leg of the patient and are screwed in with set screws. And then this constrains the motion of the sensor into three planes. So we have translational plane which moves along the leg. Then we can lock that plane off using a set screw. We have a rotational plane that moves around the leg um, and then we can lock that off. And then final, finally we have an angular adjustment in here with these two set screws. Once each, each plane is aligned, uh, LED will come on in our, in our GUI to uh, let the doctor know that, that, that it is indeed aligned. With this project, uh, because it has three main components, so it had the electrical component, the software component, as well as the mechanical component, um, I'm just proud of our team and like basically working on all those three components and being innovative in each one, and then how all three components came into one.